Hi everyone and welcome back to another product review on my channel. In today's video we're going to take a look at the brand new 2022 spring collection by Light Elegance called the Artist Collection and I cannot wait to show you these colors up close, do some color comparisons as you guys like. So if you've been waiting for this video and are excited to see these colors, just keep on watching. Okay, we're going to start off with Bare Canvas. And Bare Canvas is this really soft yellow, not a really a canary yellow or a pastel yellow, but a neutral yellow that has a gray undertone to it. And I was a little concerned with this yellow and applying this to the swatch stick, but was I ever impressed at how pigmented this color is? And I have used this on a client already and it is very pigmented. I did two thin layers, a very full opaque coverage, no streaking or shadowing, and you don't find that to be the case too often with soft colors like soft pinks or soft yellows. But this one definitely covered up really nicely in two thin layers. And I'm really liking the consistency of these hard gels. You can put them on top of a finished filed nail and they almost act as smooth as a gel polish. So let's take a look at the gel polish. It is just as pigmented. I was so surprised. This one's a little bit thinner in viscosity, but it does self-level really nicely. So if you do notice some shadowing, it does go away once the product self-levels, but I never really noticed any streaking or shadowing with the P Plus. So I'm kind of stumbling over my words here, but very impressed with this first color, especially in the P plus. So I did this color matte on three different skin tones and I'll do that throughout the video and I really like these colors matte. They are stunning. So I'm doing some color comparisons. I am going to just let you watch this and I did put the names and the brands that these colors I'm showing you are from. And I don't really have anything close to bare canvas. So I am showing you some yellow colors so you get a sense of how bare canvas is a really nice, soft, neutral yellow with a gray undertone. All of these colors I'm showing you are pretty much more of your springtime canary dandelion type yellows. Next color is called Take It Easel, and this is a really pretty neutral blush. Ugh, pink? <laughs> it is a pink. It is a neutral pink. It does have a gray undertone to it. So again, it's none of these colors in this collection are your pastel colors where the base is more white. I think the base uh, on these colors are more gray. So it's kind of a muted toned down collection. And I really <laughs> like this color as well. It went on like a dream, two thin layers, full opaque coverage, didn't streak or shadow with the hard gel or the P plus, which this is a pink you guys. like we come to expect to struggle with pinks but yeah i didn't with this and then with the p plus it is just as pigmented and creamy and easy to apply it is a little bit of a thinner viscosity actually it's quite a bit of a thinner viscosity but it's so easy to work with and again i i'll repeat this i was surprised it's such a light color it didn't streak or shadow when i did the second layer and then when you put that top coat on it just sort of camouflages any imperfections you might have okay yeah you need to excuse my finger i did a big nail tech no-no and got product on my hand and cured it <laughs> 
Okay, this color matte is stunning. Actually, both of these colors matte are stunning and I'm not a matte kind of girl, but I'm gonna say right now with this whole collection, I really like these colors when they are topped off with a matte top coat. So I would say Milan from On Vogue is probably, no, I lied, Pink Tutu from <laughs> Light Elegance is pretty close, but a little bit darker. And then I don't think, well, we'll just have to wait and see if I have anything comparable or not. Okay, Power Nap P Plus does look very comparable. And Sheer Veil is a little bit darker, not too comparable and I don't think let's see what else we have bunny slopes is a little bit darker but in that same family okay ugly duckling number 131 is very sheer and I know I built this up in three layers so and I thought your churn would be closer but it's not and then just some lighter creamy colors just to get give you guys a sense of what take it easel is all about okay stroke of genius is stunning again a green gray I was gonna say with a gray undertone but I think this is a gray with a green undertone or a like a really light dusty sage green with a gray undertone tone it's a very mo muted mooded <laughs> moody <laughs> it's very muted and perfect for spring I really like this one and I actually want to wear this one myself but yeah it is looking more in that green family and this color is very pigmented as well so so far this collection has been quite consistent in pigmentation and I'm actually not putting a whole lot of product on the swatch stick for the second layer. You don't need to, you need very, very little. And the P plus was really, really pigmented as well. Like you guys, I am blown away <laughs> with this collection. And I'm probably gonna say this several more times. I honestly didn't know what to expect when I found out that it was a softer, almost pastel-like collection. I thought it was going to be very understated, but that is definitely the wrong word. It's not understated. These colors that we've seen so far are toned down, but calming. And I think we need a lot of calm and peace in our lives right now, <laughs> at least I do. Like, look at these colors matte. They look amazing on all three skin tones. And I mean, the one on the left almost looks like a gray, but it's, it's not, it's stunning. Okay, let's take a look at some colors that might compare. Number 68, you can really tell that Stroke of Genius has some green undertones to it. Even Hazy Sky looks more like a blue-gray. So I don't know, I think, I'm hoping you guys get a really good sense of what Stroke of Genius the color really is. Okay, next color I'll pose for Leo and this is a really pretty, I would say this is like a carnation pink on the warm side or a dusty rose kind of color. <laughs> I'm not too sure how to describe this. It's very much a warm toned peachy pink. So yeah, I think I would call this a carnation pink. and very pigmented like the rest of this collection so far. As I'm putting this second layer on, I'm using very, very little product and it's just so smooth. I just, I don't know if Light Elegance has tweaked their formula at all, but I don't remember back a few years ago, Light Elegance being this easy to work with. 
and now it really is and I find that I'm always gravitating towards any kind of light elegance product because I feel so comfortable using it. It doesn't matter if it is a builder gel or a color or a glitter. I mean glitters I used to shy away from now with light elegance you can put the glitter on top. I mean some of them you still can't if they're chunky but Light Elegance glitters, you can put them on top of a finished filed nail and get a smooth finish. So this color shiny is very, very pretty, very traditional. I have, I have a few clients that would love this color, but when you finish this off with a matte top coat, it just gives it a totally different feel and look, obviously, because it's matte, but just it's just silky and, and smooth and satiny and elegant matte. Okay, let's take a look at some color comparisons and see what we think. Big Hair Don't Care Buttercream. I thought it was gonna be more comparable, but it's a little bit more pink. And I actually don't think I have anything comparable to this one. Okay, next color is called Do The Van Gogh Go, which is a peachy coral with a gray undertone. I think with the gray undertone in this color, it really tones down the that summertime coral colors that we probably all have in our collection. And this is a color that can definitely be worn right into summer and through summer because it's not a harsh, bright coral. It is very toned down. And yeah, this one too is even very pigmented. Two thin layers, you get a nice opaque coverage. You guys must get tired of me saying that, but it's true. Even the P Plus was very pigmented, which you will see coming up in a moment. So just to reiterate, the P Plus formula is a little bit thinner in viscosity. I really, I, I don't say this enough when I'm showcasing the P Plus, but I really like the brush. It is rounded at the tip of the brush, so it kind of fits really nicely around the cuticle. You can get in there nice and close, so not many gel polishes do come with a rounded brush and I actually prefer it. And look at this with the second layer. It's just, there's no see-through shadowing or streaking or anything. It's just absolutely stunning. And I do apologize for this being out of focus. Okay, this color matte, I did not expect to look as gorgeous as it does. I don't know, maybe my perception or my feeling of matte nails is changing, evolving. <laughs> so let's see if I have anything comparable to Do the Van Gogh Go. I thought Tumbleweed was going to be pretty close, but it's not. Tumbleweed's got more of a pink undertone to it. Flamingo by Magpie Beauty is a little bit comparable. Summer Punch from En Vogue, that one is pretty comparable as well. Counting Coral Sheep is a little bit lighter and it doesn't have that gray undertone. Sunrise Roundup is in that same family, but it does have a soft, fine glitter shimmer to it. Okay, let's get together. That is very similar. It is a little bit lighter and again, does not have that gray undertone. I Melt For You is more of a brighter corally red. Come Home Gnome is much more brighter. So I think from what I've shown you, there is just a couple of colors that are pretty comparable to Do the Van Gogh Go. But let's move on to the next color, pencils and paint brushes. And this is a beautiful taupey mauve purple kind of springtime color. Again, with a gray undertone. I love this one. And wait till you see it matte. Oh, you guys, it is, yeah, stunning. <laughs> 
And like the other colors, this one went on really nicely, nice and creamy, lots of pigment, no streaking or shadowing. The second layer, as you can see, very little product on the brush. And I like that because then your product lasts longer and it goes farther. And let's take a look at the P Plus formula. And yeah, very creamy, very pigmented. I just love how these P Pluses level out. They self level and that kind of makes you do half the work. <laughs> And applying the second coat goes on just as effortlessly. Yeah, I am I am so impressed with this collection, even in the P Plus formula. Very, very impressed. And it looks stunning, shiny, but wait till you see it matte. Look at that. It's so classy, so elegant, calming, and I would be staring at my nails all day long if I had matte nails like that. Okay, in comparison to your churn, your churn has got more brown undertones to it. Um, I showed that one first just because I thought it was the most comparable, but let's see what else I have. Okay, so nothing else in my collection really compares but your churn. So let's move on to the glitter gels, my masterpiece. And this glitter is a chunkier glitter, so I would recommend embedding this glitter. It has a colored base gel, so it's kind of like a peachy pink color for the gel itself and then there's different sizes of glitter chunkier glitters and ultra fine glitter as well hexagons and round glitter and this is what i would call a placement glitter so you get a better effect when you just kind of place the glitters where you want them and in the P plus formula, it is give it a good shake or if you have an eye mix, put the bottle on the eye mix and just really mix up those glitters and the gel. And this glitter gel is also chunky in the P plus formula and it is like a placement glitter. So you're going to see me kind of doing placing the bigger chunks of glitter where I want them and just letting the gel itself level out and go where it needs to go and you're gonna see with a thicker a little bit of a thicker top coat I use the P plus you do get that smooth application so it doesn't come out as chunky as you think it would in the P plus formula that is but for the hard gel I definitely would recommend embedding it or if you don't have time to do that and you want to put it on top of a finished filed nail then just use a thicker top coat and I don't really have anything that compares with with this glitter gel. Orange Crush I thought might be comparable, but as you're going to see coming up shortly, it's not Orange Crush, it's more like a, like a creamsicle orange type of a color, summertime color. And as I was doing these color comparisons, I knocked over my both my carousels of swatch sticks and some of the glitter fell out of the swatch stick itself. So the Elvis pelvis I'm showing you here on the right, I thought it would be more comparable, but it's not. I just didn't have the swatch stick to show you, so I apologize for that. But let's move on to the next glitter, which is Wanna Watercolor. And this is a nice kind of like a bubblegum pink very fine glitter it is a transparent gel so watercolor is the perfect name for this in my opinion this glitter gel would be perfect to put over top of a color one thin layer of this glitter gel over top of a color would just kind of make that color pop underneath or you could do two coats of the glitter gel on top of a color but it is quite a trans parent or translucent a, a see-through oh, I'm never gonna get it type of glitter gel now I want to show you here that on the swatch stick it almost kind of looks like the glitter is sticking up and not very flush and smooth it is a little bit but 
I was surprised when I put the P plus top coat over top, it just kind of embedded all of that glitter that was sticking up and made it a nice smooth surface. So the swatch stick on the right is the P plus and you can see that the surface is quite smooth once I applied top coat. So on these three skin tones, you get to see how beautiful this glitter is and also how see-through it is. So yeah, I would definitely recommend putting this over top of a color. So Sweet Thing from LE is a little bit more peachy. Peony for your thoughts is a darker rose kind of color and I didn't really have anything quite comparable. But here's another one that I'm gonna show you. Losing My Impatience, I thought would be more comparable, but it's more, this is a candy color cotton pink so a nice baby pink but it's similar in application these two are next glitter is called nudie and nudie is a really pretty sparkly i would say like a light rose gold so there's hues of like a blush pink or a blush rose undertone to this glitter gel and very dense with glitter i actually use this on top of a color on top of a finished filed nail and it was so smooth and again this is this is kind of i feel like Light Elegance's signature glitters is this kind of consistency. And the P Plus was just as amazing. And I did do it quite thin here because I wanted you to see the almost like, remember diamond glitter? This almost seems like it had a little bit of the silver gl diamond glitter in here. I'm not too sure if that's true or not, but it sure looked like it. And what I liked about the P Plus formula in this glitter is when I applied the second layer, it was quite opaque so you don't really need to put a color underneath if you don't want to because it is very dense with glitter and incredibly sparkly you guys like incredibly sparkly I would wear this on all 10 nails and that is it like look at how gorgeous this is this one puts a huge smile on my face I'm sure you can tell by the tone of my voice how in love I am with this glitter okay let's do some color comparisons ugly duckling color gel number 52 I thought would compare but it doesn't and this is what this looks like next to champagne so totally different cheers from down under has some same tones in it and oopsie daisy kind of that same glittery consistency a couple of coconuts is more of a creamy like a really light blush creamy glitter so not so much rose gold and adventure awaits is more of that light gold color or glitter rather Next glitter is called Creative Chaos, and this is a gorgeous springtime green. I, I want to call this like a shamrock green, an Irish green. It's kind of a minty green as well, and this is a chunkier glitter, so I would embed this. And it is a placement glitter as well, so you place the chunks of glitter where you want it. And the gel itself is that really gorgeous I don't know, is that like a light emerald green? Emerald to me, I think of like a deep rich tone, jewel toned color. So I'm going to go with shamrock green and because St. Patrick's Day is coming up. And then the P plus, again, a glitter that you would place where you want it. This is a gorgeous springtime green. I actually, <laughs> My eyes are drawn to this color of glitter. And I don't know if it's the fact that I'm warming up to green and it's taken <laughs> so long for me to warm up to green or what, but I love this one. And as you can see, as I'm placing these glitters where I want it, you're gonna see here coming up just really quickly that it, it the glitters are sticking up and it is quite chunky, but once you place the P plus like right here, it just smooths everything out. And you can see here the profile view that there is no chunky glitter sticking out after the P plus top coat has been put on. So, oh my gosh, look how gorgeous this is on a dark skin tone. Oh, that's so stunning. But yeah, you could put this over top of a color. You can wear it on its own. You could do a glitter fade. This is just really a stunning, stunning glitter gel. And let's take a look at some glitters that I have in my collection to see how not comparable they are. <laughs> I don't have anything comparable to this gorgeous green glitter gel at all in my collection.
Okay, next glitter is Don't Frame Me In. And this one is another beautiful glitter gel. Now these are hexagon shapes in a clear base gel. And the hexagon glitter is not matte, but I think they're more like a pearl glitter. So they almost have that illusion of being matte. And this is a glitter gel that you can pair up with yellows or lavenders or seafoam greens or turquoise. This glitter gel looks amazing over top of bare canvas, the first color we saw. That yellow underneath, as soft and subtle as it is, it just pops right through and really brings out the pearl yellow in this glitter gel. Now I didn't really have enough on my brush, nor did I put this on my eye mix to just really mix it up. But again, this is a little bit of a chunkier glitter, but you don't need to embed this. You can put this on top of a finished filed nail and you could wear this on its own. Like look how stunning this is. Or you could wear it over top of a color. It's just, oh, it's so, so pretty. Okay, and as for comparable glitters, there's some that are have some similar glitter colors in them from different brands here, but nothing quite like the pearl hexagon glitters, the, the springtime glitters of the green and pink and lavender and yellow. Okay, and the last glitter gel is called Monet All Day, and this is another stunning glitter. It is a blush pink with ultra fine, I'm going to say matte or pearl pink glitter in here, as well as maybe a pearl white. I'm not sure. I was going to say a silver or a diamond color, but yeah, there's no silver in this. This is just a really pretty blush pearl pink glitter gel. And in the P plus formula, I'm putting it on quite thin and yeah, I'm not seeing the silver in here at all. This one almost reminds me of, remember that glitter gel and it was a green called Jawbreaker. And I know a lot of us were really hesitant about that one. And this kind of reminds me of that, except for it's more dense and more like there's way more more glitter in here and this is something that I would wear on all 10 nails with no color underneath but after having the top coat on here I am seeing a quite a twinkly type of glitter that's in here so I'm wondering if it is not a pearl or a matte but like a really twinkly or sparkly pink that's in here but look at this on all three skin tones just absolutely gorgeous so as for color comparisons I know I don't have anything comparable but I did want to start off with Quiver from Fusion from their Valentine's collection this past Valentine's. Those two would look stunning together. And even these two would look stunning together. There's some similarities with the colors of glitters that are in here. Ugly Duckling 187, these two would look stunning together. But nothing super comparable. Okay, let's recap this collection. I'm going to say right from the start that I am very surprised with this collection. I wasn't too sure how I would feel about such soft and neutral colors, even though that just screams spring. I wasn't sure. I, I didn't know if I wanted something a little bit brighter, but after swatching these colors and the glitters and just how effortless everything was to apply to the swatch stick and how gorgeous these colors look matte like you have everything from greens to pinks with a pop of a coral in here and a pop of a green glitter in here. So I think that this is a well-rounded spring collection and I really like the name of it, the artist collection, because these are kind of like really nice colors if you were an artist or a painter that you could slap it onto a canvas and, and create something just magical with using colors like these. So uh, even as nail techs, on nails, we can, <laughs> for lack of a better word, slap these colors on a small canvas and just create something absolutely gorgeous. So even though I had doubts about this collection when I saw pictures of these colors, I have to say that this is one of my favorite spring collections from Light Elegance in the P Plus and the hard gels. 
And as for favorite colors, I'm going to say that Monet All Day with the glitter gel is my favorite. And Stroke of Genius for the color gel, which is that greeny gray color, which surprised me. But yeah, those are my two favorites out of this collection. So what do you guys think? I know you guys have been waiting for this review video to come up. Thank you for your patience. I will put a link in my description box of, so you can just click that link if this is something you want to purchase and then we'll take you right to the website. And yeah, tell me your thoughts on this. Comment that down below. Don't forget to follow me on all my social media and we will see you in the next video. Bye guys!